Good morning. I'm Pastor Steve Hom of Christ Our Savior Lutheran Church. This is your Coscast for Tuesday, August 18th. Why are you cast down, O my soul? This is the question that the psalmist asks numerous times throughout Psalm 42. Why are you cast down, O my soul? And if you look at the other verses of the psalm, you get some hints, some clues as to the answer to the question, why this psalmist is down in the dumps, depressed. The psalm was written, uh, the heading of the psalm, it says it's written by the sons of Korah. We don't know much of who the sons of Korah were, but the thought is they were musicians that played at the temple or sang in the choir. And in the psalm, it makes a mention of the fact that uh, they're not able to get to church. They can't make it to the temple. They're cut off from worshiping the Lord at the temple. And that's part of the reason why they're so, this, this son of Korah is cast down, depressed. Now, you might remember, and extra points if you do, way back five months ago when we started the stay home, stay safe order here in Michigan and we went to online only worship at church, I preached on this psalm, Psalm 42. And back at that time, I said, what an appropriate thing to be thinking about uh, or uh, how well we can relate to these, the, to the psalmist who said, I can't make it to church for some reason or another because we were unable to gather together in the sanctuary in that building. Here we are five months later and the psalm is still appropriate. We have come back to in-person worship in, in some form, but we have to admit it's just it's not the same. Not everyone is able to be there. And those who are, we're keeping ourselves distant. And it just doesn't have exactly the same feeling as back in the good old days when we could just pack the building as full as we wanted and sing our hearts out uh, to the Lord. And so we still have reasons to be downcast. In fact, today we might have even more reasons to be downcast as we think of many of the more after effects that have come along with this pandemic. Our kids are heading back to school or not, right? We're starting to see all these first day of school pictures being circulated in social media. And most of them are children sitting in front of a computer at their desk at home, virtual school. And that's just not the same, is it? Another reason to be downcast. And you can add more and more reasons to be downcast these days. But just as this psalm still applies and that we have reasons to be down in the dumps, it also still applies in the reason we have to be hopeful. And that's uh, right in the middle of the psalm. The psalmist mentions his reason for hope. He writes, By day the Lord commands his steadfast love, and at night his song is with me. And concludes then to hope in God. For I shall again praise him, my salvation and my God. The Lord commands his steadfast love by day. That's always a reason to be hopeful that the Lord's love is with us. It ties in perfectly with our message this week that nothing can separate us from the love of God. In another psalm, the psalmist writes, The Lord's mercies are new every morning, every day, day after day. His steadfast, his faithful love is with us. And so we have reasons for hope, reasons to praise the Lord as he continues to bless us, show his mercies to us, forgive our sins, fill us with the peace and comfort through his word. So my prayer for you today is that you find hope and joy amidst uh, all the reasons we have in life to be downcast. Let's pray. Lord God, we are tempted to despair when we think of the reasons we have in life for our souls to be downcast help us always to focus on what we do have in you that is your love your mercy and your forgiveness fill us with peace and joy at this thought O lord amen god bless your day